Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here, and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News. If you guys are enjoying the Daily Crypto News, make sure you press the like button and subscribe to really support the channel and help me get to 50,000 subscribers at the end of this year. I, I know I made it a big goal, but I'm, I'm really going to try and get there. <laughs> I think it will be very, very cool. And the question of today is, have you actually sold any crypto within the last month? Let us know in the comment section down below. Let's talk about it. I'm pretty interested in knowing. First article of the day, nearly 180 million XRP wired as Ripple sees ODL payment volume surge. While ODL remittance payments are showing a rise in volume, Ripple and anonymous investors together have wired almost 180 million XRP over the past 24 hours. So when I first saw the title, I was like, you know what, they're most likely talking about a couple of months, maybe six months or so, and, and they finally reached a nice number. But no, they have wired almost 180 million within the last 24 hours. I mean, that's insane. Remittance volumes are soaring, including ODL, Ripple and others nearly 180 million cent, and XRP up 35% from the recent 15 cent low. So yeah, everything actually speaks for itself quite well, I should say, but Galgatron here went on to state, Latest charts, remittance-sized payments are blowing up, but in this volatile market, much of that could be speculative, and certainly not MoneyGram's batched ODL payments. Still, all volume is promising, and some of it is definitely ODL-related. And then moving forward, Ripple and others nearly 180 million cent. Well, XPL Monitor has reported that recently several entities have transferred 178 million XRP, which is 35 or 35.7 million dollars, and part of it was wired by the blockchain giant Ripple. You can see here 10 million XRP, 20 million XRP by Ripple to some addresses, and we don't know what's going on. I don't think we will know about it, but a side note is that XRP is also up 35% in the recent term here from its 15 cent low, actually recovering quite nicely to say the least. Price analysis, April 6th, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin SV, Litecoin, EOS, BNB, XTZ, and LEO. Well, if you're interested in any of these coins, I recommend you just pause it really briefly and, and read through it as it's just an analysis of what the chart says on any of these coins, but there's not really any inside information as to what has happened with any of the coins, which is mostly what I read through them for. So again, if you want to trade one of these pairs or you're interested in knowing a little bit more just pause it real quick on a coin that you like but uh personally i don't think it's, it's worth it for everybody to read through it all because it's, it's it's just too plain you, I don't, it's not going to help you at all i personally think ripple xrp retreats from key resistance but bulls are comfortable ripple is up close to 10 percent and it broke the 20 cent resistance against the us dollar however XRP price struggled to gain strength above 2025 and is currently correcting gains. Ripple price is showing a lot of positive signs and it rallied above the 1880 resistance against the US dollar. There was a sharp rally above 20 cents barrier, but the bulls failed to remain in action above 2025. There is a key bullish trend line forming with support near 1940 on the hourly chart of the XRP to USD pair. And the pair is likely to find a decent buying interest near 1940 and 1910 support levels. So yes, XP has been doing pretty damn good over the last couple of days. Some fresh rallies, some fresh volume. And uh, right now, all coins are still doing quite good as well. Ripple XRP scores new crypto exchange listing. Things looking up for XRP. And RippleNet Tech continues to make waves. Well, again, pretty self-explanatory. Um, Whitebit says... Good news, XRP is joining our exchange. It is paired with Bitcoin and USD Tether, which is, of course, a good thing to see because the adoption goes on. And the tech has been continuing to grow, but everything that is in here we've already talked about. It has recently added the Southeast Asian market to its growing list of signing partnerships with major remittance institutions in Thailand. We went over all of that earlier already, though. Five best cryptocurrencies which can raise your income. Now, when I when I talk about this type of stuff, I actually want to go through it in a more of a broad sense because 
right here, what they're talking about is raising your income through either mining or staking. And for any of those those reasons, you could pick a coin like Bitcoin, Ethereum, I guess um, there's actually a ton of coins like Cardano even that you could go for at a later point, which you can mine, right? And and on a, another load, they're talking about just investing and then becoming worth more, which is why I think this whole article is, is pretty damn useless because... I mean, increasing your income, you're not really increasing your income anymore if, if your asset becomes worth more because it's, I think it's taxed as capital gain, you know, and it's not like you're going to get paid more now every day or something like that because that's, that's not really what it is about. And also it says 0.1 every time. So I think this is just a bad website, maybe just trying to clickbait people or some. I don't know, but um, I'm just, you know, trying some different websites out and just telling you guys my opinion on that. This one has got a no-no for me, just yell, but um, maybe we'll see something cool happen later. XRP price hits 20 cents as over 200 million coins transferred anonymously. As said earlier, a lot of money is flowing around in XRP and, and many are wondering what's going on. Is there something going on behind the schemes or is this the accumulation? Is this what we want to see? And I can't tell you yet, but we'll see as the days roll by here if something is happening or, or it's all just coincidence. Brandon Bloomer makes global crypto prediction, hold on to your seats. Many experts now suggest that the ongoing market crash may be a lucky break for the crypto sector. But Brandon Bloomer of Block One, which is a, a website, has now announced some timeframes. Never before, bumps in the road to the moon. He went on Twitter to state, the global macro environment has never before aligned the stars to highlight the value proposition of crypto quite like what we're about to see in the next 24 months. Hold on to your seats. This prediction is way too long for most people. I mean, 24 months is a very, very big time, time frame here. Even for crypto, which is pretty recent, two years is a lot of time. Two years, everything can change. And actually, we're kind of betting that Ripple is going to really, be really taken off within that two years already, which means that he, he is on one hand correct. But on the other hand, I mean, I, I could also state that just wait for, for some big to happen in the next 24 months. Well, of course, something big is going to be happening. That's like, like the most obvious thing ever. So hold on to your seats. Well, I could always say that, right? If you have a two year time period, there's no real strength to your argument anymore. I, I think personally, if he's saying, like the next three months, I'm like, okay, give him the, him the benefit of the doubt, right? Or next six months, maybe even next nine months. But once you start to say a year or two years, I'm like, yeah, you, you could just be betting on something happening within the next year because the chance is like 80%. I think, yeah, I think you have like an 80% chance in one year, maybe like a 90, 95% chance in two years that something big is going to be happening. And you could just state that things are lining up because it doesn't matter because you're most likely going to be correct. Same as if it were to say Bitcoin will most likely hit $10,000 again in the next two years. The chance of that is, is ridiculously high. <laughs> so I think it's like a 99% chance that it Bitcoin will hit $10,000 again in the next two years, right? But hey, call me a, a god analyst. You can't you can do that. Sorry, Bitcoin bulls. Analyst says ongoing miner capitulation could trigger a 2019-esque drop. So basically... The miners right now and this 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 whole um, halving that's going to be coming around could be changing the game again. And I know for a fact it's up to a lot of speculation and there's no real real security. No, there's no real um, certainties that what they think is hap that's going to be happening is correct. But one of the opinions is that all the miners are going to get going because some of them are going to be starting to earn less after a little while. So they're going to be going and thus, since miners are going away, the whole network kind of crumbles a little bit and thus the price is going to be falling, which is another point of it all. Some are saying, well, miners are going to be going extra ham at it and thus price is going to be going up. Everything's going to be golden. And it's it's a it's a 50-50 bet right there. You know, it's it's again, there's no certainties. It's just a little bit of a of a, of a thought as we really have never seen a, a halving in this way, shape, or form quite yet. The, the crypto realm has evolved so much within the last one and a half years that we really don't know what's going to be happening. And thus, it's it's also almost impossible to predict what what people are going to be doing. Mansa Suma said on Twitter, right, time to crush some bullish dreams. So, you know how we get minor capitulation talk 
after every single 20% dump in Bitcoin land? Well, funnily enough, I haven't seen a single post mentioning this, which is really strange, but the hash ribbons actually say minor capitulation is happening as we speak right now. While you can get a sell signal on these ribbons during bull markets as well, on those setups, the MAs aren't strongly diverging. If they are, we get a 2018 type drop, we have the same setup now. So, as anybody who's ever traded anything knows, a setup does not necessarily mean it's the thing you expect is going to happen. There's just a good likelihood. And that's if you follow historical patterns and follow traditional patterns, then yes, I mean, what, what, what you're expecting has a high likelihood of occurring. But still, as we all know, if you ever had a statistics course, a high likelihood and a, a high probability does not mean or equal certainty. And that again is some everybody should keep in mind that these are indicators and, and they could be correct. They could be indicating exactly what you expect, but it could also mean exactly the opposite. And it's just either a false indicator or an indicator of just an indicator. <laughs> and, you know, you interpret it wrong. If you guys get me right there. Or even if it indicates something that doesn't happen, it's possible always. Google searches for Bitcoin halving surge as Bitcoin price recovers. So basically, the search for Bitcoin halving as it is coming around the corner now are, of course, increasing, right? And now that Bitcoin price is going up, every Bitcoin surge tends to go up as well. And now that these two things are kind of connected, they're kind of intertwining to extra Bitcoin enthusiasm. I think it has a high correlation with each other. And I think, of course, many people are now also debating on getting into Bitcoin because they're like, well, some big is going to be happening. And many people told me that price is going to be going up just in front of it. So maybe let's get into it. And since prices are going up, I think it might go for a little bit of a, you know, a, a, a snowball effect, but that's to be seen as well. Bitcoin's skewed movement is ending rather than just beginning. Again, another opinion on, on the matter, just completely, yeah, completely different side to it all. And you can agree, you can disagree. I personally don't attach too much value to it, but, um, you know, some, some will say it has a point to it all. Some will say it has a point to it all. I, I, I really don't think it's worth it to to get too far into it but according to data from skew markets the cryptocurrency has been less volatile in the past 10 days than over the longer time scales the btc usd realized on historical price volatility for bitcoin suggests that the 10-day metric was 79 percent lower than the one month three month and one year metrics at 200 percent 124 percent and 89 percent respectively yeah, you do with it as you please. I don't know exactly why it's so important or why you care too much. Um, so, yeah, maybe maybe they have a special reasoning for it. I, I, I never attached any value to it and I will not do that. So, I don't think you guys have to either. Ripple XP scores new crypto exchange listing. I think we already showcased that just now. And uh, here it was CoinGecko CEO, hard for coin market cap to stay neutral. So, basically, the whole point here was Coin market cap has um a lot of this domain. Oh, I should have I should have closed the ad blocker. All right, too bad. Well, we can we can think about what it says here. Uh, Coin market cap was acquired by Binance.com, and the CEO of Coin market cap, I believe, was the CEO or one of the top players, and the CEO of Binance have both said, but Coin market cap is going to stay independent, and thus things are not really going to be changing. But now the Coin Gecko CEO came in and said. Well, it's really going to be hard for coin market cap to stay neutral. And from our perspective, as investors in, in, in crypto and people who look on the coin market cap website and, and maybe use Binance as well, it's pretty logical to see that because there's a lot of benefit in Binance to, I guess, like ex explain or, or what do you call it? To put up their own advertisements. And, and let me actually phrase that a little bit better. Right now, coin market cap uses many different advertisements for many different platforms, right? Obviously, because that's how they make profit by using advertisements on the website. But once Binance owns it, I don't really think coin market cap would want to list other exchanges on there, right? I mean, it would be pretty stupid for Binance themselves to list another exchange on there because then you're losing out on revenue. And now for coin market cap as well, it's going to be really difficult to express other exchanges on there. And I actually think that CoinMarketCap will just be going for the Binance advertising route. So they'll just be really, really advertising the Binance exchange on there all the time. And since CoinMarketCap has three times the amount of users that Binance has, it will most likely draw a lot of attention to Binance and thus 
really live them up. But there's also a couple of chances, I would say, that Binance is going to do something with the platform to get BNB more up there and get BNB more attention, maybe. Like, maybe maybe they'll do, like, sponsored sections for coins on there as well or something like that. I don't, I don't really know. Because, of course, they don't want to mess up the, the platform. But some of the masterminds over there will find a good plan to make sure BNB gets bought more because of coin market cap and make sure that Binance gets used more because of coin market cap. And thus... Staying neutral in that is, is almost impossible, I think. Because, of course, they're going to have their 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 views mostly on Binance. And thus, with advertisements and whatnot, we'll see that as well. Is it a bad thing? I don't know. We'll see as it rolls out. We just have to wait and, and explore. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like and comment something down below to really support it. Also, don't forget to check out my second channel called Dusty Finance. No advertisements on there and a couple of really cool videos. And I'll see you guys again in another crypto video. Take care, everybody, and have a very, very nice day.